Organizational network analysis depends on data that describes the relationship between colleagues or between teams. And there are two ways that we can collect that information. The first way is a survey approach. And just as it sounds, we send out a survey to people whose collaboration habits we're interested in understanding, and we ask people about the relationships that they have with others. The second way is a passive way of understanding relationships. And just as it sounds, it uses data that already exists within the enterprise, such as email logs, chat logs, or in some cases, even understanding who's collaborating on certain documents. Let's talk about passive data first. Passive data has its pros and cons. The biggest pro to collecting passive data is, as the name suggests, it pretty much already exists. We can get this information from email systems or from chat logs, and basically we just need to have a conversation with our IT team in order to get it, which gets at the second biggest pro of passive data. And that is we do not have to ask anything from anyone about their relationships because that data already exists. In terms of the cons that exist for collecting passive data, are first and foremost an ethical one. Have we gotten consent from our employees that we are looking at their relationships in a passive manner? Think about a big brother type of a mentality when looking at information that exists without really telling anyone about the purpose of you looking at that information and what you're going to look and what you're going to do with it. The second most challenging piece about using passive data is the amount of infrastructure that you might need to process it. In a large enterprise, crunching data on the flows of communication between people when there are tens of thousands of employees is a big data problem. And it may require large servers and some help with data engineers or data scientists in your organization to process it properly so we understand relationships between any two given people in your organization. Now let's talk about the survey approach to collecting organizational network analysis data. Just like with the passive approach, there are pros and cons. The biggest pro to, to collecting survey data is that we can understand nuanced dimensions of relationships between employees by asking people directly what you get from your relationship with another, we can understand whether or not a relationship provides simple information to get work done, provides personal support when changes happen in the organization, provides political support so that people can feel like they have what's needed to push large initiatives through the organization, or provides energy, like a sense of enthusiasm or energy that the future is bright, and this person is somebody that motivates me to do a good job at my company. The biggest con to collecting survey data is that it requires a large amount of work to make sure that people fill out the information that we, that we need to understand relationships. That can require a large amount of work, especially in surveys where we're looking at the collaboration between thousands or tens of thousands of employees. We need to make sure that data are complete so that we can understand as many of the relationships that exist as possible in an organization. Typically, we look for an 80% response rate, which means that we need to engage managers, have a very clear communication strategy about the intent of the analysis, and to make sure that everyone is comfortable with, with the data that we're collecting. 